As one star differs from another in glory, so will be the resurrection. I was in the, in the back section of the USA Today, and they had a section of all sorts of ads, and one of them was that you can buy a piece of property in Hawaii for, I think it's $39.95. It's one square foot, and you get a deed and everything. And I was impressed with that. And I just wondered what you'd do with it. You know? I thought to myself, people actually invest in a square foot of Hawaii. Now, God's invited us to invest in real estate, not sham estate, real estate. The stuff that will be here a million years from now. I know it seems like a fairy tale, doesn't it? And when you read those passages and read about that kind of city and the white horse and the king riding on it, you don't see that sort of thing in downtown every day. In fact, you've never seen it. Never seen anything like it in all your wildest dreams. So it's easy to think of it as being sort of the pretend world, but it's not. This is the pretend world. And one day God's just going to say, poof, and it'll be gone. And when we do step into that world, my question is, will I be ready for it? I can get ready for it. Now, Peter tells us that it's possible to get ready for the kingdom by taking on now the characteristics of the kingdom and adding in my faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and so on all the way down the line for then an abundant entrance will be ministered to us into the kingdom. We'll be ready for it. We'll feel at home there. And how important it is for us to recognize that there is a direct relationship between how I spend my time and how I will spend my eternity. Between whether I read my Bible in the morning and who I speak to and how I speak and what I talk about and how I spend my money and the things I think about while I'm driving in the car and in the shower and where I will be and what I will be perhaps sooner than I think. Now it's hard for us to grip that because it seems like such a different world and it is. But the things that are sown here will bear fruit there. It has been well said that you can't kill time without injuring eternity. And what I do down here in the everyday humdrum of life will be directly reflected. As Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, as one star differs from another in glory, so will be the resurrection. We will not all be the same in heaven. And there is a relationship, a direct relationship, between what I'm doing and what I'm becoming down here and what I shall be in heaven.